Welcome everybody, VSC here with NPC Tech. We have exciting new updates for some of our beloved Samsung applications. There is a new update for DecoPic. This is the app to be used when you want to have fun with stickers. There is also an update for the Samsung video library, just bug fixes and huge build improvement. But what is more important guys, there are updates for some of the best good luck modules. So a new update for Wonderland. New styles added, which is autumn and winter, modify also a compatibility issue with One UI 4. Also, a new update for Good Luck version 21022 fixed system parameter with One UI 4. Then, also a new update for Galaxy Wearable if you are a fan of the Samsung watches. Samsung Global Go, Samsung Text to Speech. Also, a new update for the Sound Assistant, one of the favorite models in Good Luck. Fix the volume panel, BG background error after applying 18. Okay, new version there. Also a new version for Night Sketch now. Can't auto update, auto update is important, but the version here is 110016. Officially supports One UI 4 for the first time. And what I want to test in this video, guys, also a new update for Home app. Now the version is 130019. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna hit here the update all button. I'm gonna leave the phone here and be back with you once everything is up and running. All apps are up to date. So, guys, without any further ado, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the good luck right now. And I want to test, first thing I want to test, I'm going to go straight to Wonderland and try to see these new two styles. I'm going to hit here the start button. So, okay, one is Autumn, okay, and I forgot the other one, but okay, let's just, guys, test the Autumn one. So I'm just going to select here Autumn. I'm going to set this also as a wallpaper on my home and lock screen. Yeah, you can just see all the leaves falling. It's just beautiful, guys. Not sure. Maybe now it's a bit better. Can you just see, guys? We have these very nice leaves from the tree falling and yeah, probably not my favorite wallpaper because it kind of messes up with my icons, but it looks kind of cool. All right, let me just see. Also applied on the lock screen. Very, very beautiful. The other new style was the winter theme. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to hit here the winter and try to set this as a wallpaper. Now see snow is falling down. It's very beautiful guys, really hoping to get some of the Christmas mood with this wallpaper here. See, snow is falling down, very nice and very well crafted wallpapers. Let's now open Good Luck and now let's go to Nice Sketch because Nice Sketch is working right now in One UI 4 for the first time. So we can set it to on. By the way, what is Nice Sketch, guys? If you don't know, Nice Sketch is a system tool that will help you capture some of the things happening with your phone. Like for example, you can use the catcher to capture all your vibration history. Show a list of application that made vibration. Okay, you can also choose ring mode history. So the Nice Catcher will generate a list of applications that change the ring mode. You can also use it to show an application that changed the call mode. You can also see histories of toast pop-up, delete commercial, screen wake up, setting change history. There are a lot of things that you can use Nice Catch to show you. Some of the events really, some of the events happening with your phone. Nice Catch can capture those and show them to you guys. But I know everybody's here for one and one thing only. So without any further ado, guys, I'm giving you the home up. So home up, you know, this is probably one of the best models for good luck. I just want to show you something. No home up. See my recent menu, all right? The standard style. Now I put home up on and okay, see what I did here? Yes, things like this. You can use home app to modify, right? You can modify the home screen grid. You can go and set up a custom grid. You can also modify the apps grid and also the favorite max count. You can also look pages and you can also apply some very nice visual tricks to the layout like background blur control. But this option is not only an on and off option, guys. You can go inside and by the way, set somewhere in between zero or 100. So, okay, this is right now 100. Let me just show this to you. Okay, see, every time I enter the app, see, the background that is blurred, so the background absolutely blurred. And I can go, by the way, and I can just go to 30%. So now I'm exiting it, okay? It needs a bit more time to refresh this. And now see what will happen, okay? See, I have now 
a breakdown that only 30%. Okay, I'm gonna go back to 100% so that you can just see the difference. Now it is 100%. Stuff like this, guys. Um, remove most of the blur. This can also be done, and uh, right now, you see, no blur at all. I mean, it's just more smooth experience if you wanna go for this. Uh, and that's what you can do with the home map. Background color control. Control the color applied when entering apps. Also, guys, you can also go and set up a custom color. So also hiding the app icon label. So that's kind of the standard view. You know, if I go inside, I see Telegram, Twitter, whatever. But if I select this option, guys, hide app icon label, boo. Very nice, <laughs> very queen look. And yeah, you need to know your icons. So home screen, a lot of modifications. Then we have the pop-up folder. Folders open in a pop-up style. I pretty much have the standard one. Let me just show you guys. Opening, right, closing. You can just see what happens. But if I go here, and if I select this one, and I can go and choose the black one. So, whoop, see? It is a bit different already. And by the way, this can help you. In that case, like I'm using right now a very bright, white almost like wallpaper i can select here a different pop-up style for my folder so that you know all the icons inside are very very visible i can go like this and then it's gonna be green or i can decide to go like this and this is guys one of the beauties we have in the one ui 4 and in one ui in general you could do a lot of a lot of things there also folder title suggestions so just the best folder using the machine learning right so now every time guys let's say i have enabled this one and i'm gonna go like and group for example clock with the good lock and now boom see here i am already getting suggestions from you know machine learning like the phone is using the machine learning to try to suggest me something productivity accessories which i think is pretty pretty relevant for what we have here okay so this is kind of like the folder suggestion and then you can back up and restore your layout which i think is also very important and then you have the share manager you know that a lot of focus has been put on sharing in Android 12 and now with the share manager you guys can select the different applications so select apps menu has been moved to be editable in the share panel right and you can either hide it or show it right and you can also just show different applications and there are really plenty plenty of things there I even don't want to get me started and then we have the task changer honestly guys for me task changer is perhaps the best feature because right now guys we have the list option which is pretty much a standard one okay but we can go and use the grid option which is yeah some people prefer it like this and then there is the mini mode see here what happens guys uh, is it a nice C no mini mode okay or mini mode to be very much used with one hand okay then we have the stack okay stack now we have the big stack we have stack also in a mini mode version which is yep again if you want to use the phone in one hand that's probably your best choice then we have the vertical list like this which can also go in a mini mode <laughs> that's really sweet and then we have the slim list which is something like this and yeah i'm not even sure if there is a mini mode on this one yeah probably not but and you see all of this is really nicely animated guys so I'm usually going here for the stuck one I do prefer it I don't use the mini mode you can also center the currently running up and you can also show the up label see here guys we're gonna have home up we're gonna have telegram good luck if I remove this up label I will have only the icons so this is here very very interesting and also guys search bar right now every time I do like this I go in the risk menu I have the search bar but I can just click like this and boom very clean look also guys the recommended apps if I go like this here we have the recommended apps if I remove them and I do like this we get even a more cleanish look guys so recommended apps you have all the recommended apps like this this is the standard option if I remove this boom no recommended apps switch to previous app with gesture allow bottom gestures in full screen mode and bottom gesture sensitivity settings this is all related to your gesture settings but you can just see how powerful home app is again for me home app is probably like the top best model from good luck and guys that was it for this video i really hope you have liked the video if that's the case don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel guys please you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos and with that said we'll see you over and bye